Hello friends. Today we are going to read Going Home. The author is Rukmini Banerjee. The illustrators are Ketan Raut and Santosh Pujari and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Going Home. So who is going home? I think it is this girl in this picture. So she is going home, but it looks like she is running. Why is she running? Let's read the book and see. School is over. Children are leaving. Teachers are leaving. Everyone is going home. So in this picture, what do you see? This is the school. These are the teachers and these are all the children in the school. Looks like school is over. So everybody is going home. I come out of the gate. I am in a hurry. I do not have time to play. I do not have time to talk. I want to get home fast. So here you can see the girl and she is in a hurry. She is not stopping to chit chat with her friends or play with them after school or anything like that. She just wants to get home fast. Let's read more of the story and see why. I walk down the lane. It is a narrow lane. I can see crowds up ahead. There is a big road there. So here she is and she is walking down this narrow lane. A narrow gully. She is walking down it and she can see some crowds in the distance. And it looks like there is a big road there. The big road has lots of traffic. Cars, trucks and cycles, motorcycles, scooters and auto rickshaws. Some are going this way. Some are going that way. I know how to find the gap and run to the other side. So what do you see in this road? There are different types of traffic. There are cars, trucks, scooters, all kinds of, and there are also bicycles and motorcycles. There are all kinds of traffic. And some of them are going in one direction. Some of them are going in the other direction. And in between them, there is a divider. And the girl is running across to the other side of the road holding up her hand to stop traffic or at least try and running through in between the gaps in the traffic. I have reached the divider. There is traffic in front. There is traffic behind. I must be careful. So here she is standing in the middle of the road, the divider in between the cars going one way and the cars going the other way. And here she is again waiting for a gap in the traffic to finish crossing the road. And she has to be careful because cars are going fast in front of her and behind her. I am on the other side. I almost crash into the Channawala. He growls. I say sorry and run along. And here she is running again. She just finished crossing this road and there is this Channawala standing on the other side of the road. She almost crashes into him. And he is not very happy about it because all of his stuff is flying away from his cart. But she says sorry and she keeps running. 
I walk past the shops. People are buying all kinds of things. There is a toy shop. I cannot stop. So what's going on here? She's still continuing to walk and go home. There are shops on her way where people are buying things. This one is a toy shop. She is still not stopping there to look what's there in the shop. I walk faster and faster. Now there are fish shops. Big fish, small fish, long fish, flat fish, shiny fish, dull fish. So many fish in every shop. So here she is again walking faster and faster. This is becoming a riddle here. Why is she going so fast? But she is just going past every shop she is seeing on her way. Now she is seeing a fish shop with all kinds and sizes of fish. And there are many fish shops in this place. Now I must run past the video shops, past the barber shop, past the cloth shop, past the pan shop. Running, running, running down the lane. So here she is again. She is still running very fast. And there are other kinds of shops on her way. There is a barber shop. There is a pan shop. Again, she is not caring. She is not stopping anywhere. She is going very fast. Finally, I reach home. Oh, good. I am not late. My father goes to work in the afternoon. He has not left as yet. His cycle is still here. So finally what happens? She arrives home. This is her home. And here in front of the home, there is her father's cycle. When she sees that cycle, she is happy that she is not late because if the cycle is there, what does that mean? Her father has not yet gone to work. Her father goes to work in the afternoon and he has not left yet because his cycle is still there. So she is happy that she has come home before her father has gone to work. My father comes outside my mother is behind him. I give my father a big hug. My father gives me a big hug. Then he goes to work. Now there is no hurry. I have lots of time. So finally, the mystery is solved. We know why she is running so fast to get home. She wants to be home before her father leaves for his work in the afternoon. And then when she sees him, she is so happy. She goes and gives him a big hug and he gives her a big hug back. And then he goes to work. So now she is not in a hurry anymore. She has come home in time to hug her father and now she is happy. And now she has lots of time. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are lane, a narrow road usually between buildings, divider, something like a short wall or fence that is used to separate traffic going in opposite directions on a road. Try these questions. Why does the girl want to go home in a hurry? Have you crossed a big road when you were in a hurry? In your own words, write how you cross the road safely. Write about your way home from school. What all do you pass by on your way?